There are some places where words just aren't enough. Oh, that's a... Downtown Greenville is such a place. Had my counter right there. Amid the rubble lies Ken Donnell's dreams. What up until last week's firestorm was Donnell's music. There were guitars all along the wall. We just had our brand new ice cream freezer. There's the vehicle that I traveled out from Texas in, in 1979. It was a funky, happy place to be with a lot of odd and eclectic people. Mostly, this historic gold rush town in picturesque Plumas County lives now only in memory. It's a whole bed of square nails. 52 businesses, many from the 1800s, wiped away. Brand new street lights put up just a few years ago, melted and contorted. Yeah, boy, I just stripped the asphalt off the off the road. You see Germany in World War II right after the Allied bombing campaign. That's exactly what this looks like. Greenville is here. And, you know, and that's the thing, Greenville's right here. The Dixie Fire has spread its path of destruction across more than a half million acres in multiple counties. So much has been taken away that when I first drove into town, I couldn't even recognize where I was or what I was looking at. Hey, I got away with the clothes on my back. Everything else is ashes or twisted metal. Just behind his shop, the ashes of Donnell's home. What's left of my jewelry collection? It's just stuff. It just hurts. It just hurts a little. Yet somehow, buried in the crumbled bricks and twisted metal, Donnell finds a tiny sliver of hope. In fact, he's already filed a public record to build a new general store on his property. Those of us who come back are now going to have to be extra tough. Donnell doesn't know how many will return to build and live again in this mountain community. But what he is certain of, he will be one of them. Joe Rosado Jr. We lost one dream, now it's time to make a new one. NBC Bay Area News.